All right, if you're using Google Sheets and you have a file with lots of different sheets inside of it, so we'll look here, we have all of these different sheets at the bottom. If you're looking for more functionality than the built-in way to manage these sheets, we're going to go over an add-on from Power Tools called Sheets Manager, and this will give you some new capabilities and different ways to work with those sheets. All right, so Sheets Manager is part of Power Tools, and it is a paid add-on if you look in the description. I have an affiliate link that you can use that will give you a discount. If you check it out, please check it out from that link. So I've already installed Power Tools at this point, so when I go to the add-ons and I go to Power Tools, it's here and it starts up. If you haven't done that yet, that link will bring you there and you can grab it. And when it comes up, we're going to left click on sheets manager all right so there's other options in here that we've gone over in other videos link to a playlist of those but right now we want to talk about what's happening here and how it's different than what's built in and the first thing that you'll notice is some of these sheets are hidden so building two is a sheet that is hidden from view so when i go down to the bottom it's not available for the user to uh, work with when you select it from here now it is still available when you left click on this hamburger menu, the user will see it, all right? But you can't work with it here. If I right click on it, nothing happens. So when you're using Sheets Manager, it gives you the ability to work with hidden worksheets just like any other. So if I wanted to do something to building two, building three and four, you can do it with it still being hidden. So keep in mind that hiding these sheets is not a security measure, okay? The user can't see it here but they could always go to view in hidden sheets and look at it. So hiding sheets can be handy, but don't use it as a security measure. What you can do for security though, is you can move these worksheets to another file. So you can copy them with the built-in options, but the sheet manager gives you the ability to left click on move to, and you have three different options here. All right, so you could take these three worksheets and just put them all in a new worksheet or you could copy them to multiple new spreadsheets. So this is a different concept that's built in. If I left click on that, it's asking me to make sure I want to, I'll say yes. And while it does that, we're going to go up to my Google Drive and it's in the AbleBits folder. That's the company that does the add-on. And this is the location of the file that I made for the video. And then Sheets Manager came in here and made this new folder. So if I double click on this folder called All Inventory, Sheets Manager took each of those worksheets, extracted it, we'll go back to All Inventory, they're not here anymore. Okay, it stops at building one, close this. So building two, three, and four are now extracted and then their own files. So you can fully control the permissions on these now and if it was a security issue, you just don't invite those users to these files. All right, so they can't see them or edit them. We'll go back to Sheet Manager. Now those files are gone because we move them instead of copying them. If I go down to the built-in and I look, you, you can copy them from here, but you can't move them. All right, so what you would do is you would copy them to a new spreadsheet and delete them, but this is less steps from Sheets Manager. All right, and one other option that it gives you is to protect worksheets just a little bit faster. So this one is already protected. We'll do a new one. Let's go down to pad five and let's look in the top here. I do have an invited user. So I'm using a different account here, but I invited another account. So this is me, right? But using a different Google account and I'll show you that access. So we're looking at pad five. We'll come over to this other window in which I have this open, but I'm using it as a, a different person. So we'll go to pad five. All right, so what you may be concerned about is this user could come in here and change some values from 367. You might want to change it to 400. Well, if you don't want to allow them to do that, let's go back to the original account. So this account is the owner of this sheet. You can now just left click on protect and choose to either restrict the editing or show that user a warning. 
All right, so we will restrict the editing and we'll come back to this other account and we'll try to change that 400 to a 500. Won't let me do it. All right, so I'm just type hitting my keys here and nothing's happening. And we'll go back to the original account and that functionality to protect a sheet is in here, but there's just more steps and you don't always need to click through those menus. So, so just like the other options that are in Sheets Manager, it's they're all here. You can apply them to any sheet, even if they're hidden, and it's just a little bit easier. All right, so Sheets Manager is part of this larger add-in. A lot of different options in here. And next, we'll take a look at function by color in this video that's up on your screen right now. Thanks for watching.